Video Productions. What's up, guys? So, I uh, I thought I'd do a little video on uh, my my work EDC now. Right now, uh, some of you know that I do drive for a living. I drive medium duty trucks, you know, trucks like it, and uh, 26 foot trucks. Uh, my truck is down and I'm in a rental. I'm in this little enterprise van, uh, mainly because it's cheaper and I can still do most of what I need to do in it. Um, there's the Dodge there. I'm trying to make that a gooseneck truck I'm trying to have two vehicles but anyway not the point uh, so I'm just gonna go out with my kind of EDC gear in here so I'll start um, I'll start here so I got the Garmin 7 inch uh, GPS I use that I also use my phone this is really cool because it has truck stops and uh, all kinds of other little apps weather apps I IFTA stuff hour service you can hook up a backup camera to it, um, e-logs, history, truck maps, all kinds of cool stuff it has on it. Um, got the old Shark dash cam. I did a review on that as well. Uh, so that that will help. That helps a lot if you get an accident. You can prove it in your phone. Uh, got the um, Blue Parrot XTS headset. That's really nice, except for the fact that it doesn't work every now and then but that's rare uh, this is pretty cool this actually worked really well in my other box truck because I only had one power outlet and this this one has two so that helps plus it has this little aux here but this uh, was it GH geek or CH geek whatever it is uh, is it CH geek I don't know I have to find it on my Amazon history but it's this cool little cup holder uh, it's got two USB ports and then it's got two power outlets and it's got breakers so if you want to like turn it off you can hit that and it, now it's got no power so that's pretty cool this thing here is also made by whatever that is CH geek GH geek whatever it um, it's a Bluetooth uh, device it basically picks up a frequency which it defaults to uh, 1077 or 1.077 and it uh you can actually use it like as a phone for Bluetooth it's got two USB ports on it or you can uh, but the cool thing the main thing I use it for it connects to my phone I don't use the phone feature on it at all I'll just switch over to this if I have to but um, you can play music and everything on it with vehicles that don't connect to Bluetooth and this vehicle does not connect to Bluetooth and neither did my box truck that is down. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I had, I mean I had a CB radio that I don't have in here, a few other cool things I would have liked to show you. Um, just what I carry, uh, this is just some of the stuff really, some Gorilla Glue, safety glasses, tire gauge, uh, WD-40, some of my hazmat stuff or hazmat loads uh, we got zip ties we got uh, I haven't even used this yet but this little head uh, headlamp thing padlock master lock uh, that's my EDC bag the 511 uh, 24 bag I'll, I'll go over it in a different video I don't really feel like doing it in this video uh, of course we got fire extinguisher, uh, all the DOT reflective flares, I use my uh, little clipboard every day, which I got my paper logs since I'm not on e-logs since I'm in a rental, that's on my other paperwork here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I really liked, one thing I really liked in my other truck, because uh, it had, this was metal, and here this is not metal is my paper towel holder it's actually kind of cool in this little you can kind of get a, a perspective of how that is you can't see it really and then it's up there for paper towels so that's just a magnetic paper towel holder it's actually really cool and then I have my Duluth uh, lunchbox I, I might do a video on this too because this lunchbox is, is huge I, 
At one point, I actually used, I took this to work. This was the only thing I took to work. Everything I carried, I carried in this lunchbox at one point. I mean, just to give you an idea, this is just the, uh, just the refrigerated part or the part that you keep cool stuff in. I got, this is a 64 ounce Yeti. This is a, a another Yeti for Pepsi can. I usually have a salad, but I already ate it. And then I have these fully loaded baked potato things. I got three ice packs in here. Two of these generic Walmart ice packs and then one Yeti ice pack. And then this top compartment up here. Yeah, I eat real healthy, the Cheetos and donuts. Usually has some better things, but hey. I packed my lunch really slow today. We got the hard hat. Of course, you need a hard hat when you're working. Safety vest, all that good stuff. One thing I kind of like about this rental though, is this door right here. Uh, I can always just check my load, which I don't have a load right now. Um, I'm not sure how to turn the lights on in that thing. Does it even have a light? It's got a light. How the hell do you turn it on? Let's figure that out. That turns on that light. So I couldn't find the light in here. I can't find a switch anywhere, but oh well. I hate this little two foot truck. It's actually 15 foot, but it feels like two feet. But anyway, guys, this is what I'm working with. This is something I do carry every day at work. All these lovely crappy straps, mostly from Harbor Freight. Uh, very few are of professional quality. These on the other hand, these E-Track straps, these are definitely professional quality. Uh, they cost enough. Oh, these over here are Harbor Freight. So there are, I do got some Harbor Freight stuff. And I got these Rhino straps. These are toe straps. These actually come in handy whenever you have a, a long pallet, like a 15 foot pallet and you, they can't get it out with a forklift. You just wrap these around the pallets and uh, put the ends on the forklift and the forklift will drag it out. Of course, this truck's 15 feet, so that might fit. And I got this little cart here for, uh, this little cart is for cylinders, oxygen tanks, stuff like that. Got the pallet jack, got some rope that I still don't even use. All right guys, so other than that, <laughs> Other than that, I got uh, this little fancy mobility sun visor here, pen. I keep. I used to keep insurance in here, but now I got this little pouch back here from Enterprise to do that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much about it in here. Uh, I got this anchor uh, uh, auxiliary cable. I got an anchor charger in the bag. Uh, I'll probably make a uh, EDC bag video here pretty soon. So if you want to see that, subscribe and stay tuned because I'll probably make that video uh, here pretty soon. Also, I might make a video just on that bag alone because that's a pretty cool bag. Um, if, you, uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, like the channel, leave comments. If you drive any of these, if you drive a tractor trailer, gooseneck, uh, if you drive a van, Sprinter van, or a Promaster, or box truck, leave some comments below what you what you use when you drive and stuff. I'm always interested in finding stuff out like that. That stuff's real cool to me. Um, same thing with uh, like little sleeper conversions and stuff. You know, if I had the opportunity to do that, I'm trying to get. So that's my Dodge right there, uh, that white one. I'm trying to get a gooseneck thing going on with that and do a little sleeper conversion for it. Uh, it's not a 3500 it's not a dually towing capacity on it's 18,000 pounds but a like a 24 foot trailer can tow like 11,000 pounds so if i can get a 24 foot gooseneck with it i can tow 11,000 pounds and i can still do a lot of stuff with that so gotta work with what you got so uh, but that's that's in the works i don't know if it's gonna work out though that's that's not up to me that's up to the higher ups um but anyway guys um hope you like this video uh subscribe like it leave some comments i'm gonna do some more videos on probably some stuff some gear stuff in the vehicles and trucks and stuff like that also just regular stuff so anyways guys till next time peace out